Now on the line by Transport Minister Fikile Mbalula. Minister, thanks again for your time. Earlier, we were talking about the speedster who was caught or rather recorded himself driving at over 300 kilometers per hour. You've given us your thoughts a little earlier, but just for the sake of our viewers who are just tuning in, I mean, it's incredibly worrying this kind of behavior by some motorists, just given the extent of the deaths on our roads. We've got to grind and do our job, and uh, uh, congratulations to our officers. We must stamp the authority of the state where people uh, demonstrate arrogantly and uh, without any fear that they can break the law. If it is possible that we are able to identify them, we must identify them and and deal with them. And uh, I'm elated by this. No matter the consequences, everybody must know. You break the law, there will be the consequences. Rule of law, rule of law. So, Minister, what happens now? Uh, the, this driver tracked down at a funeral in Limpopo. Uh, wh what's the next step here? Well, uh, he's arrested now. His lawyers came and tried to get him out. It's not possible. They've read his rights to him. He'll appear in court tomorrow. And we leave everything in the hands of the law. And that's where we are. Uh, Minister, the, the other issue that we want to talk to you about this evening is, of course, the plight of Autopax employees. I mean, they're faced with a January with only half of their salaries for this month. And you've spoken at length about the issues at Prasa. You yourself have called Prasa broken. What happens now to try and resolve this issue around salaries? Well, it will be resolved, uh, but uh, Autopax is not a stable organization. It's part of the brokenness we are dealing with. Um, uh, it, we are facing huge challenges in that particular company, and uh, we have raised those matters. It's not for the first time. Remember, the workers went on strike at some point, but um, it is uh, one of the company's subsidiaries of Prasa that were run down. So you do have such challenges. Uh, way in which workers will not be paid or don't get paid, but they will be paid uh, according to the report from the administrator. And I think it can give you an update on that uh, going forward. But uh, this is part of what we are dealing with in Prasa. But uh, in these 12 months, Autopex included and all other things that go with it will be turned around. So we are on duty, and uh, part of our interventions is to basically correct uh, that anomaly that exists there, where you've got the company that uh, has got assets, that does not have assets, but they've got human uh, resources that uh, does not equal the assets the company has got. So uh, it's been like that, uh, Michelle. Yeah. And uh, this is what we've inherited, and we're dealing with it. It's what we've inherited, Minister. I mean, yesterday you would have seen another train on fire in Cape Town. Cape Town's dealing with uh, less than or just over a third of its trains uh, to try and get commuters to work uh, every morning and every evening. Uh, this turnaround strategy, uh, you feeling hopeful about it? Uh, the turnaround strategy and what we're doing there is not going to, everything is not going to turn around overnight. Uh, we are dealing with that situation. You have seen trains have taken you people down the memory lane. I've taken you practically. I've shown you that uh, the banning of trains is part of a uh, fitted uh, overall modus operandi of criminality and economic sabotage of Praza that has crept in over time. And uh, people were hiding behind the fact that trains are banned down because they are not on time and all of that. But you have seen economic sabotage all round. Trains have been burnt down in the courtyard in Johannesburg, in the Free State, precisely because those who've got vested interest in Prasa think that uh, by promoting uh, and by doing this kind of thing will demonstrate the fact that the company uh, is under siege and therefore there is no leadership and all of that. And that is why you've got things like this. But they will not succeed. Uh, this will pep them up for now, but in the long term, we'll win the war.